Hey everyone, Todd here, internalarchitect.com. In this video, I'm gonna kinda of go over a new addition to my recovery, um, an oxygen concentrator. But before I begin, please hit subscribe and hit the bell below so you get notifications when I put out a new video. If, now, now how did this whole thing come about? Well, I've been talking with my primary care doctor for a couple of years now about doing this, and when I was diagnosed, obviously I started asking a lot of questions and things, and um, an O2 concentrator was something that I did bring up early in the game, so in, in this in this reoccurrence, and <clears throat> finally I got one. Um, I actually got it just before the new year, but I didn't have any power to put it anywhere, and that was kind of the big thing. I could put it in my room, I could put it in, in you know, in our bed, in our, in our bedroom here, and the problem is, is it's really loud and it's really, I think it, it's too loud to sleep with. We sleep with a fan already and that helps drown out a little bit of uh, traffic noise outside, but <clears throat> this makes its own noise. And I wanted to be able to put this in a place where we could still use it. Um, it's easy to kind of pick up the cannulas and, and put them away. And that's really that was that was really the thing is just being able to put this somewhere, have power to it, leave it, and just be able to to use it as freely as I need to. <clears throat> and that choice was just on the other side of our bathtub here. That's our that's our bathtub into this linen linen closet. Um, and I had to run wire. I had to do a whole new. Um, well, not a whole new, I had to attach to a, a circuit, but I wanted to make sure I hit one of our circuits that had at least a 20 amp breaker. It just makes things a hell of a lot easier. And I don't have to worry about not getting enough power. And uh, there's some other things I'll go over here at the same time. But, you know, so I found a 20 amp um, circuit that I could use and ended up plugging uh, or tapping into that um, through one of the outlets in the dining room, which is on the other side of the bathtub. So it's really not very far and the runs aren't, aren't super long. So I tapped in there, I brought it up into here and kind of just drilled a hole through there and uh, poked it in and just grabbed a, a regular outlet box um, and a GFCI. And now I have power in this closet. Super excited, like I said. It's gonna, I think this is really gonna help me sleep. And I think, you know, the goal is to also get Erica, my wife, on this too, so that it might help her sleep also, because she is, she has a hard time sleeping up here. And I think a lot of it has to do with oxygen, because, yeah, <clears throat> exactly. So that's kind of what we have going on. And um, really, you know, I've spent the last few days just putting, uh, getting this installed, you know, I like doing things myself. So that's kind of what the deal was. I, a uh, friend had a bunch of wire and an extra outlet box and a GFCI. And it was for me just a matter of time and just using my time to help me, um, get this thing installed, which is going to help me recover and make me stronger too. And that's kind of the, the whole point of having this oxygen concentrator is give myself the best chance of, of healing all around. And like I said, at, at uh, living at 10,000 feet, this is something that has been discussed uh, with my primary care doctor for a couple of years now. And that's exactly exactly it now, you know, it's finally getting one of these in here. There was a little bit of talk and, and there's still a little bit of talk. My wife and I may be trying to get to a little lower elevation, but it's pretty damn hard place to beat up here, you know, especially when you have things kind of set up and, and finally working right, you know, uh, housing wise, job wise, all, all the things that, you know, you don't really think about um, until you are actually really going through cancer and then every little, every penny makes a difference. So, you know, this thing is a, is a loaner, um, from Alpenair in Breckenridge here. And they actually help out a lot of locals that have been living up here for a long time, which is really cool. And, you know, it just kind of goes to show you about a, a business that, that is doing some things right and really trying to help the community. So, yeah. Um, if you have any questions, obviously hit me in the comment section below and, you know, I'll get back to you as soon as I can, you know, Got a lot of things going on, trying to trying to keep uh, keep life moving forward too. So, 
I uh, just want to say thank you guys. I really appreciate your time and energy. Love you all, really. Um, and, you know, happy 2020. All right. We'll see you on the next video.